So you might be trying to figure out how you can Photoshop on your iPhone. Now, doing this is actually very basic because Photoshop actually has an application for your iPhone. So what you want to do first of all is you want to make your way over to your app store like this. You want to click on the search bar and you want to go and type in Photoshop. You, can, you don't even have to type in Photoshop Express, which is the big name of the application. You can just type in Photoshop and what you can do is you can just download this specific application. So go and click get and go and just basically install it as you normally would. It's going to take a little bit of time for it to install because it's a pretty big application. But once it's installed, you are pretty much good to go. So you can see right here, this application has a lot of ways to go and edit photos. So you can create collages, you can do eye correction, you can have a filter library, makeup transfer, multi-object selection, retouch selfies. There is a lot of stuff within this application that you can go ahead and use. Now once it's downloaded, all you have to do is go and click on open and you have to give it a couple permissions. So for one, you want to click next, you can just go and go to scroll through everything who cares. Okay, we already went through this. Now under notifications, you don't have to give it any notifications if you don't want to. You want to continue with one of these things. You can go and continue with Apple. It's probably the easiest way to go about it. You can go and continue with your password. So go and type in your password as you normally would. And then once you go and type in that information, it may go ahead and tell you if you already have an Adobe account or you don't. So you can go ahead and create an Adobe account right here if you want to. So just type in the information as you normally would. And then after that, you are pretty much good to go. You want to give access to your specific photos. So allow limited or full access. In this case, I'll give it full access. And you are pretty much good to go. Now, this is not going to be a huge breakdown on how to use Photoshop on your iPhone. But what you can do is you, once you click on a photo, you can kind of choose a few different options that you want. You can go into the photo editor, combine photos, face retouch, and collage. In this case, we'll just go straight into the photo editor. And it'll even go through a quick walkthrough of what to use here. I would recommend going through that if you're a beginner. Again, this is not a beginner workshop. I'm just showing you exactly kind of how you can Photoshop. So there's lots of different things here. You can go through and add a different filter. You can use adjustments here. You can do some healing if you want to. So if you know what you're doing, you can heal some things. It's like kind of like an AI kind of thing that predicts what's there. I would not recommend using it because you know it's not the best thing ever, but it's still actually not that bad. You can also do some cropping here. You can do some smoothing, some all this other stuff, realignment. You can add text over the image as well if you really want to. I think I this one. You can also do some other information. I mean, there's lots and lots of features here. So what I would recommend doing is just scrolling through here, looking at all the features, seeing everything you can kind of edit and other things you can do. It's a really cool thing and I'm really excited about it. So it's been around for a long, long time. So that's pretty much how to use it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I'll still have every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.